hi guys welcome to the next 48 weekend reading for taurus i hope you're doing well so let's go ahead and see what the energies are of the herbal remedies for taurus and then i'll do the tarot reading for taurus for the weekend what do they need to see Okay, great energy here with courage and sensitivity. So it's almost like you could be going through a period where you feel very sensitive to things, maybe even an empath. Having the courage, the inner resilience to get through a, a tough situation um, is basically what's showing up. So let me look at this. So the time, the fairy, the fairies love to work with time while they cast their spells in rhyme. My gift of courage helps you fight, stand in your strength and shine bright. Okay. It says here, know that you are safe. Um, you will have courage that you need to reinforce bravery and strength okay so whatever this is you're going through you will be able to handle it it's not something that you can't handle okay so let's see spirits and angel guides messages here for taurus taurus for the sign of Taurus for the weekend next 48 hours or so what do they need to see all right I have the Leo energy on the bottom of the strength card which is also just like courage so we have six of cups this is the energy of friendship, positive harmony between you and another person, could be siblings, could be um, anything where you're dealing with other people. It's working out well. It's going well. Ooh, we have Aquarian energy of the star. We have hope and healing, releasing the past, and you have hope for the future. Something is giving you a lot of hope. It could be some kind of fresh start with a friend or a loved one, sibling. I don't know why I'm thinking roommate even. Okay, I'm gonna cut this right here. So the Six of Cups is minor arcana. It's just something small. It's not like earth shattering. It could be like a cup of coffee with a friend, but this is major because the star means it's major arcana, it's karma, it's something big. Bottom of the deck, Empress, Venus energy, abundance. Maybe you're getting together with a mother, a parent, an older sister. And it's actually the, you know, or it could be a love relationship. The Empress embodies love. But let's see. Three of Cups, celebrations, reunions, fun, good times reunions happiness wow ten of airs behind you there's some kind of major stressful backstabbing awful situation but it's moving in the past seven of water there's some kind of confusion surrounding the situation okay there's an energy here of fire aries leo sagittarius that's on the defense it's blocking it's extremely defensive it could be hostile it could be it's the energy of 
overwhelm in some way. Okay, your energy is this Aries Leo Sagittarius. It could be a person coming towards you. You could be blocking them even. Ten of water around you. Happiness, joy, long-term emotional commitments. Family, legacy. I feel like there's, there's a person around you that wants to reconnect. Knight of coin. You're wanting something real and substantial. I feel like you want them to invest real time. You get the nine of water. The wish comes true. A wish is fulfilled here in some way. Okay, so your wish is fulfilled. This is similar to Aries except for why are you, there's a knight of coin or there's a page of coins. So you get an offer. You get some kind of new beginning with someone. Knight of Swords, air energy. Somebody is very jealous. Nine of coin. Wow. This is almost like you get a pay raise or you get a job offer where you're you're paid more and somebody could be kind of jealous of you. King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a court decision, a legal matter. Okay, we've got temperance. Being patient with someone, waiting or finding balance in your life in some way. Okay, bottom of the deck is Empress. This is very abundant, fertile, having a life of luxury. It is the energy of Taurus. So your energy, you could be moving even with the Knight of Wands. Your energy is motion, movement. But it could be a person who is coming towards you too. The energy around you is a lot of happiness. There's a lot of joy. Future energy, though, is needing to be courageous. This Seven of Wands is the energy of courage. And then you have the Courage card here. So it's almost like, did you have to go to court and fight someone to get what you wanted? Or did you have? what did you have to do that was so courageous? Maybe you had, I don't know what you had to do, something very brave. Wow. Six of air, peace is coming in, things are getting easier, and stability is coming in here. Okay, so what did you have to do? You had to walk away maybe from a, a job or a fight or a situation that you didn't like. What is the three of cups? What is the Three of Cups? What is the Three of Cups? Okay, again, this is similar to Aries. Travel, movement, strength card, courage. Could be Leo. Nine of Water, the wish that comes true, the wish that is fulfilled. What is the Seven of Cups then? That's having a lot of choices and options and things are complex. You could be busy. What is the seven of water for Taurus? Why is it here? What is the seven of water? Okay, magician. Could be a Gemini. Manifestation, making something happen. And destiny here with the judgment. Something is being raised up, a calling. It's de destiny is happening. Okay, wow, with the sun card, very, very similar reading to Aries, and these cards have been shuffled, so. What is this Knight of Wands for Taurus? Why is there a fire knight coming in with a message for Taurus? Okay, it's something about victories. And there's also a lot of support. Maybe some of you are getting married with the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. You have a lot of support from people. What is the Page of Pentacles then here? What is the gift? Okay, a Knight of Cups. Maybe love. What is the Nine of Coin? Okay, so you're overcoming heartbreak. 
and there's something here coming in that's much better for you let me pull one of these chakra wisdom cards and see what we get for Taurus for the weekend. So you have destiny happening. It's something that you made happen with the magician or someone around you made happen. And there's stability coming into your life. There's happiness. Okay, what do we have here coming in for Taurus? For Taurus for the weekend. What do we have? Forgiveness. Wow. So there's something here about strength and forgiveness, courage. Ah, the, we have an energy of a soulmate happening here. So this is a destined soulmate, but it could be, a, it doesn't have to be romantic. So I got the energy of the facade and insecurity. Some of you are afraid that this isn't real. Insecurity and facade. You're afraid that this is not real because that's root chakra with joy. So if you're struggling with the root chakra, that means you have fear. So you're afraid, but I feel like it's, working out well recovery there's something here about like a reconciliation okay we have here a quest some of you may be traveling as well Okay, I'm going to leave it here for you, Taurus. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel and take care.